only in Japan. Traveling Japan for food is nothing new. Every region of Japan has its own unique cuisine, and when it comes to beef, Japan's Wagyu is worth a trip. Ibaraki Prefecture's Hitachi Beef brand is one of the closest to Tokyo, so Dean and I ventured north to the countryside to learn about Wagyu from the farm to the processing plant to the restaurant. Welcome to Ibaraki Prefecture. Behind me is Hitachi no Restaurant here on the base of Mount Scuba, a beautiful area with a fantastic sunset, one all the way to Mount Fuji. I'm so excited. This restaurant is famous for Hitachi Gyu, or Hitachi beef, the beef of Ibaraki Prefecture. But what makes this experience special is we're going to get a chance to try several different cuts of Wagyu. So I hope you're hungry. We're about to eat a lot. Hitachi no Steakhouse looks like a lodge inside. Thick wooden tables, leather chairs, and charcoal grills. In the kitchen, blocks of A5 Kuroge Wagyu Hitachi branded beef are ready to be cut. Here's an entire tenderloin block, this cut called Hide in Japanese. The intense marbling is a symbol of premium graded Japanese Wagyu. For tonight's dinner, we're trying three cuts. But before we eat, let's look at our trip to the farm and processing plant to see how the steak in front of us has been sourced. This is Hashimoto-san's farm and ranch for Kuroge Wagyu. It's a quiet place with fresh air and good water. Yeah, they look like they've got lots of space and they look like they're in really good condition. And uh, I think that's all part of it. You've got to treat these cows extremely well. You've got to feed them really well so that they become the most delicious uh, beef that they can be, I guess. It's time to face our food, something we should do to appreciate it more. Living well and stress-free is one of the secrets to Japan's Kuruge Wagyu beef. Respect the animal until it's time to become food, which is their purpose. For many, it would be hard to face your food, but unless you do it, it's very hard to appreciate where it came from, how they were treated, and understand what exactly you're eating. This is important to me as a meat eater. In Ibaraki, they're very proud of the way they raise their Hitachi Wagyu beef. I even got a slimy kiss before leaving. It's important for you to go and see what it's like, the conditions of the animals, the conditions of the Wagyu, and they all look pretty happy. Maybe not, you know, in the end, but today they're pretty happy. This is Hashimoto-san's wholesale uh, Hitachi Wagyu beef shop. I, I just wanted to get an idea. Are the prices cheaper here? And it's crazy, they are. So we got here, I, I just ordered a half cut of sirloin steak. It's 1,574 yen for 100 grams. So it's about 3,000 something. Uh, yen, which is incredibly cheap. And then down here, I ordered a couple of A5 Hitachi Wagyu burgers. And these are about $3 for a burger. So I'm guessing it's gonna be one of the best burgers I've ever had. But buying here from the wholesale saves you a lot of money. The volume of meat was 30% more, or the price seemed to be 30% less for beautifully marbled A5 Wagyu beef. We were invited inside of the processing plant. Images may be disturbing for some viewers. It lasts about two minutes and shows how A5 Wagyu beef is graded. Please be advised. They've cut it into half and you can see it's not exactly the most beautiful of places. It's a little bit morbid, but the reason why I bring you here is because you can see how they decide to grade the, the cattle between A4 and A5, what the difference is. And not all of these are gonna become Hitachi Q. That's a, a special designation just for the best of the best. The beef here won't officially be graded for a couple of days, but using a flashlight, we can clearly see the marbling. <laughs> Uh, 
っとあれ、えー、ビーフマーブリングスタンダードっていう12段階あるわけですよで切ったところを見ればその12段階のどのスコアかはが一目瞭然、うん、The JMGA has a beef grading standard that starts in the processing plant The yield is graded from A to C, and the BMS or Beef Marbling Standard in five groups of 12 levels. This is based on marbling, meat color, texture, fat color, and quality. The highest rank of Japanese Wagyu is A5, which means a yield of over 72% and a BMS score between 8 and 12. Basically, you can see from this, although they won't know until Thursday when they cut it across and see very closely inside, but the From what you see already, you can see the marbling is so intense. This would probably be marked as an A5 Wagyu、uh, Hitachi Gyu, Hitachi Beef. And in order to get that designation as Hitachi Gyu, you need to be either A4 or A5. And this one looks like it's going to be an A5. So, you know, but I think our father's fathers were quite used to that kind of an image because these days people are, are just used to it in a styrofoam container wrapped in plastic at the supermarket. Whereas we don't put that kind of value on life, I guess, because we're not used, we're desensitized by it all. Yeah. I feel that's a little bit negative that we are hidden away from that. So those images we saw today might seem shocking and might even seem sad.、Mm. But by hiding that away from us, I feel like we disconnect from food and don't really have a reality of what we're doing every time we're eating meat, right? Yeah. The Japanese aren't that disconnected. In fact, it's part of Japanese culture to have that connection with nature, including your food,、right. which is why we say itadakimasu, which I introduced in another episode about Japanese Wagyu.、Um, so for me, I'm not as sensitive about seeing them and、mm. massaging them and then going to eat them because they're not pets to me. It's just a part of the nature and、yeah. the order of nature to、yeah. me. Yeah, but yeah, other actually, people have it. It probably feels better for me that I can do that, you know, that I, that I can see the process makes me feel a little bit better about what I'm doing. I'm do, not, will you feel guilty about eating this meat now? I don't think I'll feel guilty, no. Because that's、uh, where we're headed to the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. I, I just think I will respect that meat more. And,、um, and today, you know, they, they invited us in and they didn't try to hide anything from us. They just、yeah. completely, complete transparency about their business and the way that the cows live. Yeah. And,、uh, you know, I kept joking, happy cows, but the environment there is really nice and they have nothing to hide, right? I like that though, right?、Mm-hmm. I think if you went to a US beef farm, there's, there's cameras and security to keep you out. Yeah. And they're inviting us in. Right. I think that that, that transparency. Makes me appreciate what they're doing as well as when we go to eat,、uh, have a greater appreciation of the taste of it. I will probably eat less meat as a result of knowing where it comes、yeah. from. We hadn't expected to see inside the processing plant, but the transparency gave us more confidence in the quality of Hitachi Wagyu beef and made us appreciate what we were about to eat. Wow, now this is a table fit for a king. I'm, I'm almost overwhelmed looking at all of this on. The intense marbling is always impressive when it's right in front of you. Sirloin, prime rib, tenderloin. We shared a non alcohol beer because we're driving. We start with the impressive Hide tenderloin. The marbling goes through the cut. Dean placed it on the very hot fire, the sizzle immediate. We placed it all on, like we would with a gas grill. But this isn't a gas grill. It cooked faster than we expected. A horrifying sight. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Fast. The shock and disappointment hit us hard. Dean and I decided to return the next day to do this right with the guidance of the restaurant owner, Oni Sawasan, who will not only cook for us but explain more about Hitachi beef. Wagyu has more fat than other beef, so you have to be careful of the oils on the fire. After seasoning, just place a few pieces at a time. 
Japanese Kuroge Wagyu contains more of the omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids called the essential fatty acids by doctors, but I think you should eat it in moderation. The tenderloin cut is springy and soft from the oils between. The fatty oils are much lighter and have that umami taste. It was paired with the steak butter. Dean had the first bite. Mm. Melting in my mouth. Shionawaji, suru desu no. It's like a gentle, salty taste to it. Mm. Just the softest meat I've ever eaten. This may just be one of the most beautiful bites of beef I've ever had in my life. There are no words to describe the pleasure that comes with a burst of amazing umami taste from A5 Wagyu. It melts in your mouth. Your senses floating comfortably on cloud nine. Cooked to perfection. So this one is the sirloin, which is the master's favorite, which yeah. is exciting, right? Very exciting. It cooks pretty fast, and it's best to move it to the side after it's grilled on the top. Dean ate his with lemon. Me? I went my own way. Wasabi. It's more than I need, but I've been known to be a little wild with condiments. Super, super red in the middle. Mm. And then he's managed to like beautifully heat both sides, so the color is perfect with that. bite right through it. This time I went for lemon, added a bit more flavor, and you just, you gotta try it to believe it, how soft this meat is. People keep asking me how it tastes. I can't hear them anymore. Like I said, good food moves the soul. But yeah, it's good. I asked Onisawa-san about the quality of A4 versus A5 Wagyu beef. だから、英語のものはあの、色んなランク肉の赤身の色も多いし、油の色も多いし、繊維質も多いし、霜降りも綺麗にばらついてるけれども、ちょっと霜降りの油の量が多いですよね。で、栄養の方が赤身がするより